what is going on, man? We are back with another video, man. This right here is Beyond Scared Straight Baki Edition, <laughs> man, by CJ the Champ. I got some lovely woman on here. You even see the mom endure the combo, my guy. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Um, my name is Valkyrie. My uh, TikTok is Jaden.Valkyrie. My name is Tequila, like tequila, but take off the T and put the S. And my TikTok is at Tequila. So S E Q U I L A. Hey, my name is Hollywood Dage. Um, my Instagram is Dage So Hollywood. All my social media is Dage So Hollywood. My name is Marisol Acosta, and my TikTok is Marisol da Acosta. There you They're go, gentlemen. They go. Your only fans? No, I don't have only fans. This is expense. Hi, y'all. I'm Phaylo. Um, I'm a singer songwriter and cosplayer from New York. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, Phalo.music, and on all other platforms as Phalo.music. Thank you. That's that was good. Cool. Um, I'm Rin. My TikTok is Rincord, R I N C O R E D D. I do sing as well, and I just released a single, so you can check that out as well. Um, and yeah, my all the rest of my socials are plugged on my TikTok. Uh, what's up, everybody? I right, know. Over any TV, y'all get that like button, subscribe. Y'all always see me on these videos with the girls. Y'all know we he didn't bring them through. We bring the girls the time, though. He didn't do it. It was all your boy, man. So that's, don't don't even sit here. That's cap, cap. Don't stop the cap. <laughs> So dude plays this video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? Oh my god, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I oh. didn't know this nigga Bush was in the oh. NTR. Oh, that's crazy. Oh yeah, he's a sad for that though. That's dirty. For real. Hey, kids gonna be calling him daddy and all that, bro. Hard, he said, Ding dong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special video because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon, nigga. Actually, not even jail, we're going to maximum security prison because our boy Baki done got locked up. Mm. So, yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison because, goddamn, this place reeks of black Air Force energy. Some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But, ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison as we will observe pure ignorance. Nigga, man. Hey, he licked it. And the hey. of the Ooh. Ooh. Of this special I mean, the though. man's in trouble. Hey, look, it's like the turkey. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. I like them bodies. I know that. They really no, no, like that. No, they no, like no. that. Okay. They like that. I like that. Don't play like that. The details remind me of the Titans. <laughs> they it's like give and tackle tape. Yeah, they got habits, so <laughs> they ain't that, but they like he that. Dang. <laughs> we all reacted now. <laughs> yeah, they definitely was kicking my man's in the face. Like I'm still on that. Like hey, I'm, I'm on the cheetah real. print. The cheetah print was what I was on. She was on the cheetah oh, print. Right. Oh. Oh. Don't cheetah print. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, y'all. So before That's we funny. get to the prison, we gotta understand uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place. I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference. His eyes are pretty. The African army yeah, I know like the enormous, the oversized on. African <laughs> elephant <laughs> that was terrorizing the entire savannah. Oh, and this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor. So how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A mm. man in all black appeared and killed that Why they so 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 At this point, you could just guess who did this shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's out here killing oversized African elephants, and then he ate the nigga. What? That ass just ate a whole ass ass worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass. It's the fact that it was uncooked and and unseasoned. Well, he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I say to the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Like, if yeah. I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands, I 
what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You don't look at me like, this is dumb. But in the Baki universe, okay, shit, nobody gonna okay. believe it. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied, and they're like, "Hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right I'm there, and go the find the biggest nigga you can find." So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers at Hell all. Not Jesus ain't. Christ! They look like they at least pushing thirty three. So they, they look, look like the janitors. They look like they look like. They they look like, like <laughs> So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, please, please, I don't the strongest guy. So they like, oh, you looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids like, I right, bro. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little bad ass, mm. baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing too. So they go to the river, and yeah, there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little bad ass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie. Oh, he a nice G. Bucky, like, so he's he's in the market for a little knife. He's got a little Damn, you look good. <laughs> Yo, if I saw that, I would have been like, you got it, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's big as hell. Wait, why he keeps switching? So, bro, flash steps. He imprinted his hand on his ass. Oh, that's crazy. Nah, bro, hell no. no that, that's the whooping of the century. Big paws, bro. Yeah. Big paws. That's the whooping of the century. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I, now, now you gonna do that to the kid though? You know what I'm saying? But I know some Not of y'all ladies like the handprint on your booty. You do OnlyFans at all? You might have to click the link in my bio to find out. <laughs> Little homie is gonna be limping for months. <laughs> Poor little. Oh, it made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that yeah. kid with full force. Forget it showing in my Bucky face. I'm switching schools. But then Yujiro's personal <laughs> chauffeur Stridum comes out of nowhere. And he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dog. Even old so people look good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like Baki and Yujiro are going to go at it for round two. Hopefully it don't go like round one. <laughs> So Stratum's like, all right, how you gonna respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. But Stratum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing no. a ghost of Mike Tyson, and he's taking in the Casper is going on right now. Bro is fighting a ghost of Mike Tyson and is taking Damn. damage. Oh, but now nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? <laughs> this man starts fighting a praying mantis. <laughs> like in the fuck? Yeah, he's fighting crazy. mantis from Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't question anything anymore in the show. So now we cut to America okay. and they got this parade going on and we got President Bosh? But yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade is going knock on, off, knock off, knock off, version. And that nigga Bush is gone. Because this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. Damn, Secret wow. Service, y'all niggas ass. How the f you could basically what? let a damn it's child take the fucking president? Shit, it won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon. Nah. If this is my goddamn Secret Service. Rocky so ends up having tea okay. with this nigga. And Bush like, uh, you realize that you just kidnapped The only question I would have is, if that is a child, like, what are y'all yeah, feeding I know. him? Shit, I <laughs> didn't even tell you. So Bush asked him. Hey, Bucky. Says the U.S. Arizona State Prison. Yeah, lock me up, nigga. Is this nigga serious? This man Bush, like, wait, wait, wait. You kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga biscuit, and you don't want no money or no bitches. He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this yeah, man yeah. Baki is really taking his guards team. to another level. This man said, "Fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. I'm going to prison." So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga is guilty! And he gets incarcerated into the Arizona State. So, like, he's so strong. Can he get out of that? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, what was the goes into the warden's <laughs> office and speaks <laughs> with the warden. And man's like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. 
And the reason this man is called Unchained is because he can leave uh -uh. the prison whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, mm. this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. Nice. I mean, look prison. at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 oh. other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Must nigga, you just a rookie. Huh. But Baki decides, you know what, the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. No. Baki gets sent to his cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell so as he enters the cell he sees his first cellmate and it's iron oh. michael oh my god mike nigga, that's tyson? mike tyson so baki mike asks mike, hey yo i know you gotta be number two nigga you mike tyson but this man mike says nah i ain't even in the top 10. what why they got that nigga Mike know, looking like that? So, uh, this nigga <laughs> Mike Tyson ain't even in the top 10. Yeah. What type of monsters, fucking fiends, you got locked up in this bitch? Yeah, nigga, what the fuck is this? Y'all got locked up here. Fucking Clayface? Killer Croc? Nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary <laughs> confinement. So then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga oh, no. gotta be like 7-7. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, Hey, yo, second, wake the f up. So this nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. And he's like, Hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, Damn, it looked like he smoked the locker. Of cigarettes wow, and he sleep in the locker. Oh, nah, this is different. So then Baki asks him, Hey, yo, how you sleep in the room closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Or ain't no fucking way, bro. A blue warrior, that's what you mean? Now, now, ladies, <laughs> I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you. I knew it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I like you. I'm a warrior, too. <laughs> Ain't no fing way this shit is booty. actually happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. I knew it. He trying That's to get why I said a booty warrior. That's what I'm saying. Oh, nigga, you better not drop this up. So while they're lining him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man Guevara is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole cig while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, hey, yo, what's for breakfast? And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police. <laughs> oh, he dead ass mate. Not hit him. Oh, no. yeah, 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 Guevara would have yeah. beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the beating from the CEO. Okay, oh, he asked him for like he finna cook it. So right. <laughs> so yeah, Guevara, he probably AKA is, the second though. coming of the booty warrior is a different mm -hmm. breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing with this spoon right now? So this big <laughs> man trying to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how yeah. disrespectful yeah. this is. He grabbed they would have asked for me in solitary confinement. I would not like, hold on tight. Make sure that. to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he caught oh. dude in his balls. Oh Ooh. my god. And, and that nigga's decommissioned. Uh, exercise with this nigga. So they have a sumo match and bro, this man can't even pick him up. So Whoa, his ear and it literally killed his eardrums. So oh. he fell over and it was rats. So after that's the creative, ball, homie, to be honest. Go yeah. away, yeah. like, hey, yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back oh of my the God. Damn it, it says, no way. Warning, no, 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 just smoke that nigga there with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts stinging. But he <clears> ate <throat> that shit. Boy, he ate grabbed that. his baton, ayo. This nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki Damn. graduate from Shit Talking University? Boy, got the Shit Talk, Shit Talk, no me. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in this. Yo, he in a hole. 
this shit. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Jesus Christ. Fear has dislocated shoulder. Oh, they had a hand. So we get a oh. little bit of the oh, Mars backstory. And apparently, this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cabinet. Goddamn Secret Service, you've done it again. So, dude plays his video <laughs> on the TV. And is this nigga at his house? Oh, oh damn. Oh, that's George Yo, Bush. Uh, wife. Shit. Look at this yeah. man right now. You know, he's like, part. you know, I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real, though, this guy. He shit in his pants right now. Because what? Anime history. <laughs> You know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That sh is forbidden. Yeah, this man beat the f yeah, that's not the entire up, security force and took a whole tour of his house. Uh uh, bro, that 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 that's one of the most disrespectful yeah, things nah. I've seen. So later on, the warden the is talking about taking laid out. out. He's talking about what's security? They security don't security want him laid to out to the <laughs> boxing world after getting out of prison. So he gets these triplet looking niggas caught the mouth. One's named the lip, the tooth, what and the, the hell? tongue. What in the hell is this? These Oompa Loompa ass niggas are doing this and shit? Oh, hell no, bro. They be looking like girls. They like outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. You never seen a motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely. Damn. And then they put Mike in a quarter and That's my type. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. Damn. That's how J. Paul is going to be the man. Oh, my gosh, bro. Why they got that man booty all in my face? Like, what the hell? Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, they do be putting that little bit. Look, they do be rolling out like a rolling pole. form. So the three Oompa Loompa surround his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. Whoa, R. Kelly? This man, R. Hell no. This man, R. Kelly, bro. It probably hurt when he did I that, boy. He just whipped out his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker, like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. Hey, he did that. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean track shit. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Sent his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants and oh. got the stuff in the Oh, yeah, I would have did the same. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he pissed his pants? Yeah, other homie just sat in the corner. You're running, you're talking about. So later on, back he at the just said one. They're chatting it up. This big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's like, hey, yo, Guevara, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his Move shit smacked. Mm. And this kid pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine-ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man, Guevara, spits on that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Get it. So before the fight, we get to see what this oh, girl looks like. Well, just some shadows of her, and we don't get to see much. But Ooh, I look sexy she though. I has know. a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of crown at that nigga. <laughs> oh, this man biscuit is a savage. Bro. Like a Down bad horrendous. And all the day of the yeah. fight, and all the and nothing happened. Number one and number two about to throw down. So then biscuits coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like hey yo Hell no nah. way this, this could actually be her we actually get to see what she looked like even the one is like hey yo no way he actually brought her out so we all thinking all right yo she gotta be fine as hell she gotta be the baddest chick we probably ever seen well uh Oh hell no! Oh, hit him what? with big No way! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought you better than that. Now my pick that back. Okay, I ain't bad. He likes the bad. You know you like him like that, Rainy. You know why you playing, boy? You know you a hit that boy. Hi, you can't pay me up. Ten million, twenty million. Put him to be hurt. How he was he able to lift the bed and hold on? 
That nigga back gotta be gone. I mean, his back gotta be gone, bro. Maybe, he ain't like, got no he back. Got, that's why you got so strong. He was like, yo, I can lift you up, baby. Ain't no silence. Damn, my mind like must be that. deceiving oh, me right now. Ain't no way this my six hundred pound life rotisserie ass chicken. Uh, it's hard eat no. Bitch, it's the bed. This gotta be the biggest what the actual uh, fuck moment I, I've yeah, ever like, seen in an anime. Right. Hey, but we could bash this nigga biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp. But <laughs> hey, hey, who gonna check that nigga though? <laughs> Facts. Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and is still standing there behind the wow. of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. <laughs> so how this fight is going to work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth. And the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This Loki is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for so it. We gotta so we got to hold on. Socks him, but yo, this man uh, put on some clothes, my guy. With his pinky and his Thumb. This might be the craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Gamora yeah, yeah. continues to tee off on this kid, but then he grabs his head and slaps that nigga Ooh. to the ground. So while Baki's watching, yeah. he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man, use the what? I know you wanted that. The yeah. They just lose it. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. You said I wanted it, Paragon. No, he wanted her. He whacks this nigga so far, he cracks into the wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga. So dead. Bro, we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. No, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start from real spooky. Planted that nigga like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it oh. seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there, and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's <laughs> laughing, so he's like, wait a minute, something's wrong. And all that shit that just played out was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked up. <laughs> nigga shit is as straight as a board. And everybody's like, damn, he really <laughs> just violated that nigga. So he picks up his mattress and takes off. So as we get away from the prison for a bit, the president is driving. But yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, this nigga dead ass made the president his butler. So after the fight, the second hole oh of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. But Baki said, fuck it. So I shot that nigga and do the station a whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. It. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking yeah, those glasses I'm out of there. flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint? Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So we tell the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out, and right as he gets outside of the prison, he's yeah. like, okay, Y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog. What? That is what? embarrassing. He had six niggas holding him up at gunpoint and made them all his bitch and straight up walked out the prison. So then yeah, Biscuit they pulls in. up and dude is actually offended by this. Wait, so dude tells the warden to take off his cuffs because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, yo, this man Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Mm. Yeah. What? Like, hey, yo, second. this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this His shit. His veins right now. coming so out. After that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary okay. confinement. So while he's in solitary confinement, oh, Biscuit yeah. comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him, then he whips out his shit and pisses on oh, him. No. Oh my god. I mean, I mean just, this this man gotta be R. Kelly's cousin. I mean, he gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gotta be. Ain't no way that hey, ain't no 
way. What? Yo, what is up with niggas pissing on niggas? Pops! That might be one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. And his he piss is burning like heck. on that nigga. Uh -huh. After that, Look watch this. Right, I'm smoking. Okay. You're like, damn nigga, you What's a bitch. Mouth? You got to piss on a nigga that's chained oh, up. Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit comes back to us. He's Very like, all right, we're going to fight in two weeks. So Baki's like, nah, fuck that. We fighting right here, right now. He kicks dude in his face. Oh, so Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the f*** out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass ball. So then he busts out the tuxedo. And he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about to beat your ass. Dang. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel and spears him. Like this is dead, man. Dogs just spears him. He's ringing in there. This man is holding him like a toy. He's just eating all that, bro. And just throw him like a rag doll across the floor. But then you see Baki spring up, and there it is. That damn demon back and that's when biscuit knew that plot armor about to kick it real nice so he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it the warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit so then biscuit decided to get in morph ball for him yo what is up with niggas mimicking samus in this so baki throws a punch but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some pac-man type shit so then he spits him out and then tries to do it again but baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose and was that one of bleed up a lifetime so then they face off and baki's nose just bleed? gonna throw their hands at this point straight up one on one fist like no holds barred so they just start blasting going right. from punch for punch over and over and wow. over again Oh, Bucky oh, is a oh, pushing oh, him oh, back oh. in the nigga truck. Hmm. Damn, he really did that Dang. shit. He Bro, missed his tooth. Cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Bro, oh, fee oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This kid picks up his bitch and walk. leaves the battlefield. And our boy Bucky is a freak. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained. And now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pick That was Baki Beyond Scare Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But that's anyways, the one you uh, did, before right? Before I forget, I got a little big announcement yeah, real quick. Yeah, that's the one so, I did. Uh,